YouTube friends. It's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead and today Jedediah is going to make donuts. Okay, we picked up this handy dandy air fryer, brand new at a garage sale the other day for $2. So Jedediah is going to show us how to make donuts with, yes I know, biscuits. Biscuits from the grocery store. Not the ones we usually make, I should say never make, but it's one of these little recipes that he came up with on his own, so we are going to make donuts. Okay, so how does this work? Just come the question of how to get biscuits out of a can. And what up? So now you know. Okay, so now we're going to get uh, a cookie sheet. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Now you get a biscuit. And you make a little hole in the middle. Pretty good. Look at that. And then you put it on there. So we have to do all these. Oh, so they'll all be done. Uh, Oops. Uh -oh. <laughs> we, <laughs> well, you know, okay, it happens. We went a little bit too hard. Let me see. We'll try to save the biscuit. Okay. <laughs> a donut. I guess not pull too hard, huh? Yeah. These are not the biscuits that we make on our homestead, but you know what? Every now and then to make something fun. There you go. Maybe it would turn into a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> a bagel biscuit. We could start something new. Okay. These are looking good. Three more. Three more. There we go. He's made these before, guys, and I have to say they're pretty good. So he wanted to share them with you. If you ever feel the need to have a donut in a crunch and you can't make up the batter yourself, this is the next best thing. may not be as good for you, but then again, donuts really aren't anyhow. So anyway, okay. okay. He has his donuts. So now what you'll do is you'll take some olive oil or coconut. You need a brush? Yeah. But hey, I thought this was an air fryer. No, you still have to. You're also oh, stick. to make it like a donut. I uh -huh. see. So it's like a, a donut, but you're not frying it. You're putting in a good oil on there. So, mm -hmm. olive oil. You just do one at a time? No, you can do two. Okay. So we're going to stick them in the little handy dandy compartment here. So how long does this work? I mean, how long does it run for? Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. At 400... No. Yeah. 400 degrees. Okay. So will you put something on top of these? Uh, yeah, we're going to make some glaze. Mmm. Is this going to be like a Krispy Kreme donut? Mm -hmm. All righty. Okay guys, five minutes yep. on the little air fryer and we will bring you back when those are done and show you how we finish them. Okay, I think the timer went off. You want to reveal? Ooh, check them out. They look good. Okay, now we're going to make the glaze for them. Okay. Um, one cup of powdered sugar. This is going to be good, guys. When we first found out about these kind of donuts that they made from biscuits in a can was at a um, Mexican restaurant. You want to pour it? Yeah, I got it. They um, took the little round biscuits. They didn't even put a bowl in it, and they just deep fry them. Um, <clears throat> we're not deep frying them. Air frying is, I guess, the best way to go. <coughs> um, 
We've made French fries in here. We have done chicken. Um, chicken. You can do sweet potatoes, slice them in little slices and throw them in there, deep fry them without the oil. So yummy. Okay. okay. So now we need two ounces of milk. How much powdered sugar? One cup. Okay. And two ounces of milk. Milk. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, that's simple enough. We get Mexican vanilla um, we buy it from a friend um, <clears throat> who has family in Mexico. It's yummy. Okay. It's supposed you, to be pretty. Yeah, I think you yeah, might we need, need a little some bit more sugar. powdered sugar. Yeah, I think that you didn't, right. you didn't quite get a full cup there. Yeah. And that's it's still a nice supposed thing. to be pretty runny. Yeah, with the with the glaze like that, you can just kind of add a little bit, or add a little bit more sugar, or a little bit more milk. So it never goes wrong. <clears throat> that worked. There we go. Is that thick enough? Yep. Is that how you did it last time? Yep. All right. It was a okay. Runny. Okay, is it supposed to be ready? Yep. You might try to get the clumps out. Just kind of, yeah. It's supposed to be really runny. Okay. That's what it says. A runny glaze. I guess that's how they pour it on the donuts that you get at. Um, and then it ends up hardening up after a little while. After you put it on the okay. donut, it hardens up. That makes sense. Okay, now you take Like Krispy Kremes, you know, the glaze that they put on there. They put it in there. One side. And it's done. All righty. That side looks like it got done a little bit more, huh? Mm -hmm. Ooh, guys, this is going to be yummy. So how long do you let it sit before the glaze? Um, oh, you eat them hot right now. You eat them hot like yep. that? Uh -huh. Oh, boy. Okay, guys. You can let them cool down, but we're going to eat them. cut into a piece and let you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really, really good. I'm going to talk with food in my mouth. You did a good job, but this is one you're going to have to try, guys. You had to taste it. Wow. So, That's good. can of biscuits, air fryer, and a little what? bit of powdered sugar, milk, and vanilla. The recipe for this will be in the description. He will put the recipe in the description for you so that you can try it. I bet. If you didn't have an air fryer, you could probably put it in the oven, huh? Yeah, you could. There you go. If you don't have an air fryer, the oven will work. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed making donuts with Jedediah here in the kitchen. If so, um, subscribe, tell a friend who might enjoy watching this, and um, ring that notification bell. And until next time, God bless you.